Now in the previous video I have shown you how to set up the survey and how to test it with the one question that you have entered but of course you want more questions so I'm going to show you now how you can take some questions from the survey library and uh, use them in your survey. In this specific example I would like to take uh, the Edinburgh Handedness Survey so I need to go to uh, the main web page and I go to the survey library, the library of questionnaires and when I do that uh, I'm going to the list of questionnaires I'm going to take the Edinburgh Handedness Inventory and I'm not going to go into the details about it now but basically I'm going to copy the bit that I want to use and I'm going to click copy here and I'm going back to my uh, survey code and I'm going to paste it and that's all there is. So I can save it and I can compile it and I see that works fine, so it works. Now the final thing that I'm going to do is to embed my experiment. I'm going to add uh, a new uh, question item which I'm going to call Simon experiment. I'm, the type is an experiment and the name here um, on the item line is the name of the experiment and it should be called Simon because that is uh, how the experiment is being listed under experiments. Now I have also the opportunity for an option. I could say here full screen which would run the experiment in full screen mode. For this demonstration I'm not going to do this but it is an option that you have. This works uh, best on Firefox and Chrome and on other, other browsers it's not guaranteed to work. And that is because the full screen mode is something very particular in browsers. Okay, so now we are done and we can now um, uh, compile it once more and test run it. So let's do that. So you're in design mode, so there is a link right here to the test. So you click that. Here's the introduction screen. You understand the conditions of this study. So I'm testing this. I'm going to enter some information. Uh, it doesn't need to be correct, but it's important that you test your study before you do it. Now this is the how the experiment looks when it's embedded in a survey. Um, when ready, click this button to start the test in the black area above this button. Um, so I'm going to do the experiment real quick. As you remember, it doesn't take a long time. There are only uh, five training trials and um, there are 20 real trials and that this takes uh, probably half a minute or so to do. It's very important to do your experiments correctly, but um, it can also be a little bit annoying if you're testing your survey that you would have to go through long experiments. So there is an option to um, actually not run the experiments when you're designing your experiment code. So now I'm done, so I know it all works. Uh, when the participant is done, it just goes to a standard website. I can close this tab and I'm now uh, uh, happy that my questionnaire uh, works with the embedded experiment and I'm essentially ready to advertise this experiment to give the link to my friends for a pilot study. There's only one thing that I need to do. I need to basically switch to real data collection. So what I should do is I have now a couple of these test runs. I should download them and then delete the data because I, I, you know, they are just test runs. So you want to be to make sure that you, um, you know, you save that. Then once you've downloaded your data, you can delete your data. You need to be very careful with that. You don't want to lose something, but if you don't need it, um, you know, you can delete it. So now it is back to zero again. And now I'm going to the real data collection mode. I change the survey status. Um, now, once you've done that, um, then actually 
you're blocked from compiling the code. And that's just to make sure you know, that once you're doing your real experiment that you do not interrupt it or that you change your study halfway through. You can only change, make changes in the design mode. So now let's collect some data from some people.